Welcome to Project Design I.O., your go-to source for premium Revit families. What you're looking at is fire alarm equipment family. Let me walk you through the options. Let's say we need a fire alarm panel in this location. So I'm gonna go systems, device, fire alarm and choose fire alarm repeater panel. Let's say this panel should be there. It's too high. The required is 940 in this instance. Let's change that. As you can see on this 3D view here, the clearance zone can be switched off by using the data parameters. The symbols can be moved in four directions. For example, let's move it to the right hand side, minus five to the left hand side. Let's move it back five or forward that would be minus five. You can move the symbols in four ways. You see the model lines here and here. You can control the visibility of those lines, this parameter, which sits in data because it's less often used. If you're using ceiling views, sometimes you can't see the element. To overcome that problem, you can use model lines. So I'm gonna set the ceiling height 3680. Now the model line extends right up to the ceiling. I can control the visibility of the bottom and top. So let's switch off the top. Now I switch off the bottom. Now none of them is visible. That's how you can then control visibility of your object without changing view region. It's so much easier. You see the symbol fire alarm panel. It shows mounting height. I can switch off the height from the label by using this parameter. You see it disappears. The family appearance is driven by a library of materials. The family is pre-populated with the copy parameters. You can change the model text, obviously. You can create another panel with different dimensions. Duplicate. So let's say the depth is 140 mil, the height is 500 and the width is 500. And you see my panel automatically changes dimensions. But now this panel is clashing with our power supply. So we got to move it, right? Okay, what else is in this family? I showed you the file arm panel and repeater panel. That's basically the same family. It's parametrically driven, the, the size of it. And now I'm gonna show you another generic parametric family of a panel. You can use that with, with the model text. You can use that to represent any equipment. Next, I'm gonna show you the interface, which is part of the same family. Access control interface, door hold interface, motorized smoke fire damper interface. To demonstrate, I'm gonna copy this panel. I am gonna change this to interface access control and mounting height works exactly the same as everything else. You may want to mount this interface on the ceiling. So in that instance, you will rotate that interface by 180. And remember the ceiling height was 3680. So I'm gonna change the mounting height 3680 and apply. And now it's correctly mounted on the slab. You can create new type easily, duplicate AOV. In this instance, the, the model text is not there, but it can't be left empty. That's the limitation of Revit. Now I'm gonna mount this on the floor. I'm gonna change the mounting height to zero. Now it's mounted on the floor, but it's the wrong way around. So we're gonna rotate that by 180. Happy days, mounted on the floor. There you go. You can enhance your project with pre-populated copy data, and you can easily integrate our families to your project. Enhance the flexibility with 360 rotation, adjustable symbols, color control, dynamic labels, clash detection clearance zones, and pre-populated copy data. Visit Project Design IO to explore the full range of our products. Thank you very much for watching.